Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, this is question number eight from the October 2022 International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P4 paper. Um, this question here is about proofs. It says a student was asked to prove by contradiction the statement um, that there are no positive integers x and y such that x 3x squared plus 2xy minus y squared equals 25. All right, so the student started um, by assuming that the integers x and y exist such that 3x squared plus 2xy minus y squared equals 25. So starting off by kind of contradicting the original statement. So you have to prove that there are no positive integers x and y such that 3x squared plus 2xy minus y squared equals 25. So you say, let's assume that there are integers that do exist, and integers x and y. Okay, such that 3x squared plus 2xy minus y squared equals 25. So you start off by contradicting the statement, right? assuming the opposite of it. Now, what's shown here is that this is a um, something that has been factorized. Okay, okay. so you've got 3xy minus x plus y. You don't have to, 3x minus y times x plus y. Now, you don't have to factorize this in the question. It's already done for you. Okay, it's already done for you. But you could, if you if you had to factorize it, you should know how to do that. And that can be done by splitting up the middle term. Okay, so I mean, one one way of splitting the middle term is to use this this method. So I'll just show you in case you get a question where you have to actually do it. All right, factorize it. So when you have something like this, um, you got three x squared. So you write the the three x squared and the last term y squared minus y squared on this side. So you got to find two numbers that multiply to give you minus three x squared y squared, and add to give you plus two x y. And those two numbers are going to be um, minus 2xy and minus, uh, no, minus 3, 3xy and minus xy. So you have 3xy and minus xy. When you multiply them together, you get negative 3x squared y squared. And when you add them, you get plus 2xy. Okay, so now we can take out common factors. For example, from these two terms, write the common factor up here, which will be 3x. 3x times x gives me 3x squared. 3x times y gives me x, um, 3xy. And x times um, minus y gives me minus xy. So I end up with 3x minus y and x plus y. So you can see that supposing you, you had to do this question from scratch, it wasn't done for you. That's how you would factorize this to express it as a product of two factors. So now uh, what we can say is that if you multiply these together and you get 25, okay, then we've got to think about all the different kind of ways of that happening. Now, two numbers or two, uh, you know, numbers multiplied together, or you say two inches multiplied together that give you 25, okay, if, then they can be, as they've shown here, 1 and 25, okay, it's possible that this is 1 and this is 25, in which case, um, 1 times 25 is 25, so we can say that Either 3x minus 1 equals 1, or x plus y equals 25. That's one way you can have two things multiplied to give you 25. Now, when you solve these two equations simultaneously, by adding these together, you get 4x equals 26. So x equals 6.5, okay, divide 26 by 4. And then y, if you put y here, it would be 25 minus 6.5, which is 18.5. Okay, so 26 minus 18, uh, um, sorry, uh, yeah, um, 25 minus 18.5, which is... Um, that will be 6.5, um, so 18.5, sorry. Okay, so therefore, we can see that both x and y are not integers, so therefore, we have proved for this particular case, this particular combination, that x and y are not integers, and we have assumed that they are integers, all right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at another case, okay, another case where um, the two factors here have to give you 25. So we're going to think of um, if 3x minus y is equal to 25, that's um, and x plus y equals 1, that's another option. Okay, and x plus y equals 1. All right, so if 3x minus y equals 25 and x plus y equals 1, that's another way of you getting 25 as a product of these two. And we'll see, does that lead us to have x and y as integers? So we'll take these equations and we'll solve them simultaneously. 3x plus y equals 25. x plus y equals 1. 
Now, when you add these together, you get 4x equals 26. Okay, so we end up with x equals um, 6.5. And in this case, we have y equals 1 minus 6.5, which is negative 5.5. So we have, we end up with both of them being not integers again. And in fact, y is not even positive. So we can say again, not integers. So we've now proved it for another possible pair that will give us 25 um, from this product that we've got. Now there's another possible way of getting 25 um, by multiplying two numbers together. And that's if 3x minus y, sorry. If one of those products is 5 and the other one is also 5. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25. So let's see what happens when we have 3x minus y as 5 and x plus y also as 5. Okay, and if we try to solve that one simultaneously, we add those again together, we have 4x equals 10, so therefore x equals 2.5. So we have um, x equals 2.5 and y equals 5 minus 2.5, which is also 2.5. So again, we have, they're both not integers. So we can see that for all possible cases, okay, that there's no way that um, X and Y can be integers. Okay, so in each case, in each case, X and Y are not integers. So we can therefore say the statement is true. We can say that the statement, which is there are no positive integers x and y such that this is equal to 25. So we can say, therefore, we have proved that there are. You have to write this statement. No positive integers. X and y such that and then that statement was 3x squared plus 2xy minus y squared equals 25 3x squared 3x squared plus 2xy minus y squared is equal to 25 okay so we have to write a statement in the end uh, as a conclusion okay so in each case that we found um, the one that they found for us and these two cases that we have found for ourselves all right all the different ways that this this is what we, we have here, equals 25. Now this has to be, this has to be an integer, this has to be an integer. If we have assumed that x and y are integers, okay, then three times an integer minus an integer will be an integer, and an integer plus another integer will be an integer. So there's only integers that can multiply to give you 25. If we assume x and y are integers, this will end up as an integer times an integer. And the only way to have an integer times an integer give you 25 as a product, and they're both uh, positive, okay, is going to be if you have 1 times 25, or you have 25 times 1, or you have 5 times 5. All right, and it's talking about positive integers here. So, of course, they have to be both be positive, all right? If this is positive and that's positive, that's going to give you a positive number and so on. So, therefore, uh, and, you know, that will always be positive, this one you know, it's never going to be negative because then when you multiply by this, it's going to have to give you positive 25. So this also will always have to be positive. All right. If, um, you know, we work that out. So anyway, so we found out that this is something which um, these values of x and y come out, which are none of them are integers. So there's no integer x and y for which um, this statement is going to equal, or this statement is going to be true. There are no positive integers for which this is true, and that proves that statement. So this is a question about proofs, proof by contradiction. Slightly different type where they've already started the proof for you. Now, I think a lot of students didn't know what to do here. They didn't realize you have to go just carry on and look at all the different ways of getting 25, which were two more ways. And anyway, so these questions um, you need, you know, as I said, a new topic, you know, relatively new topic. So it's something that needs a bit more practice. Um, anyway, so uh, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from proofs 
or proof by contradiction will be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can click on the video that will appear over here for you to see how you can use my channel to help you with your revision. Thank you for watching and see you soon.